So, Apple thinks they can beat our AI in the next update, do they? Well, here's what I found on the web for Siri is still gonna suck. Oh, hi there, I'm Sam Tucker from Microsoft. And you may have heard recently that Apple are planning some big updates for their upcoming iOS 18, including a new version of their artificial intelligence. That'll actually be intelligent this time. How do we know? Well, the biggest clue comes from this interview with some big Apple executives. Critics have been surprised that Apple appears to be falling behind when it comes to AI. How do you respond? I don't, I don't believe we are. Not too worried. <laughs> Not too worried. <laughs> Interesting stuff. And when the interviewer asked where Apple has been hiding these test iPhones that have iOS 18 on them, well, Christopher Walken said, I hid this uncomfortable hunk of metal up my ass two years. Well, that's commitment to the job. So, how capable will the new Siri be? Well, there are rumours that Apple's been talking to OpenAI to use their ChatGPT software, whose new conversational mode was very impressive and some found slightly arousing. Aw, I love ChatGPT, that's so sweet of you. Anyway, sorry nerds, but ChatGPT already has a partner. And yes, it's Microsoft. So soft. That's right, we've invested $13 billion with OpenAI. And if Apple starts using it, maybe we can start to make our money back. And I personally think it's a match made in heaven. Because if there's one thing Apple users love, it's Microsoft showing up in their products. Good morning. So, you can expect a lot more AI in Apple products now, such as Notes will help you solve math problems like ChatGPT can, and your audio notes will be auto-transcribed just like Google does. And looking at Google, I hear Apple will also be stealing their magic eraser function. Here, let me show you how this will work on iPad. See this charger here? Just circle it, and it'll disappear. Headphone jacks, leather phone cases, gone and gone. Now here's one change I don't agree with. Apparently Safari will get an inbuilt ad blocker. Although at Microsoft, I guess we don't really mind if they block the ads on the internet, since, well, we just put them in the start menu anyway. What an incredible moment. Contrary to previous rumors, the OS will not look like Apple's new Vision OS with 3D shadows and stuff. No, that Windows Vista aesthetic was just too cool for Grandpa Tim. And instead, you'll get the incredible ability of placing icons on the home screen anywhere you want. Whether it's the top, bottom, or with a gap in the middle. And Apple's calling this feature Android. One thing it will be getting from the Vision Pro though, is eye tracking to help users select things on the screen with just their face. But if an old iPhone is able to do that, it makes you wonder, why does their headset cost so freaking much? I mean, with $3,500, you could get something worthwhile, like a HoloLens. The upcoming iOS 18 with GPT Siri. That's right, we've run out of places to put Copilot on our software, so now, we're putting it on yours. Subscribe today. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. And make sure you're subscribed with the bell ding dong for the upcoming Apple WWDC, where we find out what exciting things they have. And if you want to hear a real intelligence, check out our Cortana Unana song. Now that is a smart decision.